Hi my name is Matt, welcome back to the shop and in, tech, in bike tech today we are talking about exhaust ramps. So the things that we're going to look at is why do we even bother doing it, what does it do, alternatives to wrapping your exhaust and is it good or bad. So what does it do? Well, let's start off with real basics. You have an exhaust pipe and you wrap it in a glass fibre cloth. Now the cloth is very much like um, a fire blanket, it's just a weave of glass fibres. The reason why it's done is to insulate the exhaust pipe and this keeps the heat of the exhaust gases inside the exhaust instead of being transferred to the exhaust and then transferred to the atmosphere outside. So the benefits of an exhaust wrap or the benefits of um, insulating the um, temperature of the exhaust gases inside the exhaust is all to do with pressure waves. When the exhaust valve opens, there's a pressure wave that progresses all the way down the exhaust pipe. And the pressure wave looks like this. So this is your high pressure. Pressure. And this is your low. And the reason why there's a low straight behind the, the high is the best way to think about it is like trying to um, shake a blanket. You've got a, every time you go like that, there's always an up and a down movement. So you have a high pressure region and a vacuum region straight behind it. So as the, as the exhaust gases leave the cylinder bypassing the valve, a high pressure wave travels down your exhaust pipe. When it reaches the outside world, this pressure wave expands, but there's always this vacuum behind the high pressure wave, the low pressure region. This helps suck out, it helps draw out all the exhaust gases that are in the exhaust. Now the speed of a pressure wave is directly proportional to the temperature. So if you have speed temp, the speed increases with the increase in temperature. This is the same with all gases, it's basically because um, the energy inside, the, the energy that the gas contains is higher. So if you have a higher speed going through the exhaust pipe, the gas is that this high pressure region has a higher speed, it draws a bigger vacuum quicker. So this basically helps with the exhaust scavenging. So exhaust scavenging has to do with evacuating the cylinder before the intake stroke that follows. So if we have a 100cc cylinder and 90% of the um, exhaust gases have been evacuated, this means that 10% in the cylinder is still going to be um, exhaust gases, which means that when you um, ingest, when the cylinder ingests a fresh charge, you only get a 90% of that is actually fresh air and fresh mix that's ready to be, ready to be ignited. So you are losing 10% of your volume if you can increase the efficiency of the exhaust gas scavenging, then you're getting closer and closer to your 100%. So what happens is, is there's a fundamental problem with this system of exhaust scavenging. So all you're doing is you're reclaiming power. So if you can maintain the heat in the exhaust, the exhaust gas pressure is fa uh, the exhaust gas pressure speed is faster which means that exhaust scavenging is better, which means you retain more of the power that your engine can produce, not lose it because you've got 10% of shine still in your cylinder. So alternatives to um, exhaust wrapping, there are really only, there's only one, which is ceramic coating, which is a um, plasma deposit uh, process where you basically have a oxacetylene torch kind of thing and you blast um, a surface coating onto the actual metal. Uh, it's a very good um, anti-corrosion coating, it's a lot less messy than exhaust wraps, so you'll see a lot of that used in very very high applications, uh, racing etc. And they use it generally with turbo systems because turbos extract their energy via heat of the exhaust flow, so the more heat that you can retain in the exhaust, the uh, more efficient your turbo is. So is it any good? This is the age old question. Exhaust wraps are very, very cheap compared to ceramic surfaces. Um, 
some of the downsides to exhaust wrap is that it holds water and it holds water close to the surface of the metal. The metal is going through heat cycles of the bike being on and off and on and off. It can catch salt water off the road surfaces and it does make things, exhausts etc, uh, corrode very quickly. Uh, the other thing is as well as people complain is that they steam like crazy when they get wet. They don't steam like crazy and when you're going along at 60 mile an hour you might be steaming a bit behind you but it doesn't stop you seeing where you're going. So there are three reasons why you do an exhaust wrap and people might say to you, no oh, don't do exhaust wrapping it's shit. People say, oh no exhaust wrapping's fine. There's this argument going on over and over again. The three main reasons are to increase the power that the engine lost through bad scavenging. This benefit is very, very small and is really, you only ever start seeing the benefits for um, tur turbo applications. The other thing is looks. People want that old rustic 1960s cafe racer kind of look, or they want their exhaust pipe to be purple or orange or green, and they just like the look of it. And then the third reason is protection, um, especially with a lot of these kind of like cruisers and Harleys and stuff where the foot pegs are where the exhaust is, you end up burning your leg on and you can see on some people's exhaust you can see melted leather um, where the boots have been. So there's a decision that people have to make and it's completely up to them. The power consideration, if you really are that bothered about power, you'd probably go for a ceramic because it um, is a lot better, it has a lot better corrosion protection. It's actually better than exhaust wrap period at doing um, maintaining the heat inside an exhaust. The looks, again, that is up to you. If you don't care your exhaust is going to look like shit if it's a mild steel one in six months, then that's up to you. Or protection, some there are heat shields you can get, which are basically just um, aluminium or steel little shims that come off the surface, like shields. You know, some people don't like the look of them, they don't like the look of the exhaust wrap. So, some people get a lot of stick for exhaust wraps. But really, the power considerations, we can kind of knock that one off, that really doesn't mean anything um, and if you're doing that you really are getting power from it because you're in racing or something so yeah looks like I say it's up to you if you want your bike to look that way then it's up to you if people want to moan and say it's a stupid idea but how else am I going to make my exhaust look like it's wrapped with a piece of material so uh, yeah that's exhaust wraps the science behind it is a bit of a shady thing, exhaust scavenges with valve overlap and stuff have got a lot better nowadays. It is an older fashioned thing and people are looking for that older fashioned look so it's really up to these people what you want to do. I've got the ER5, I've got some exhaust wrap, I'm going to replace the headers in the next six months to a year and I just thought well look the exhaust wrap costs 15 quid I'm going to show you how I do it, let's see how it looks and then when and then in six months to a year's time I'll be able to take the wrap off for the first time. You can see what the exhaust looks like after six months to a year use. Um, and we'll just see what it looks like. And uh, I kind of personally like the look of exhaust wraps. Um, but like I say, it's more about the looks than anything else. The protection one, again, is a good valid point. Right then, if you have any suggestions, whatever, stick them in the do thing, wiki, and thumbs up and all the rest of it, please subscribe, and I'll see you in a bit.